Jacksonville residents may soon see the plastic police. Yes, there could be inspecting what's inside your recycling bin to make sure that you're doing the right thing. You've likely gotten one of these magnets recently, like right here. It shows you what you can recycle and what you cannot. Make sure you pay attention to that or you could get in trouble. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pinkett joining us live to show us what the so-called plastic police are looking for and what they'll do, Jim, seriously, if you don't follow the rules. You know, that's right. You may not think much when you pull out your recycling bin and put it on the curb there of what you put inside. But starting in May, well, the city is going to be having people come through and take a look at what's in here. For example, this is what they're looking for. Say if you had something in your bin uh, like this, a plastic container or a water bottle, this is fine. Things like this, plastic bags. Yeah, you cannot recycle this plastic bag with the city. And those are the kind of things they're going to be looking for. They'll write you up for that, what's going to be happening. You know, it has a concern for some people, but this is something the city says it needs to be doing in order to make recycling something that's going to work in Jacksonville. The idea to inspect your recycling may sound odd and intrusive, but many we spoke to in Arlington, well, they don't have a problem with it. I think it's a good idea because I think people have a tendency to throw anything in the recycle bin. Sure, you can do that. It doesn't bother you. It don't bother me. It's okay. They want to do it. As part of a federal grant, the city is going to use a not-for-profit firm to have people inspect your recycled trash items. If there's some improper materials within the bins, there'll be a tag placed on the bin to let people know, hey, this is not a proper material to go into your recycle bin. Uh, please correct this behavior. Well, you might be surprised that once you put out your trash on the curb, it's no longer yours. The city can do these inspections without your permission. So soon you might see people rummaging through your recycle bin. And if somebody just is not complying with this, what's going to happen? Right. So if people are using the recycle cart as a garbage can, uh, we can't have that. That uh, that costs the city money. It contaminates good recyclable materials. So we're going to warn people and educate them. We're going to inspect everyone's cart four times. And if that behavior continues, ultimately we'll remove their, garbage, their recycling cart from the residence. City Councilman Ron Salem was instrumental in getting this project launched as part of a half million dollar federal grant. If we can do some simple things and educate people on recycling, it's a win-win. We're spending two to three hundred thousand dollars a year presently because of that waste that's over ten percent. There's just several wins here in my mind. So you know when this starts in April what they're going to do is actually leave a card or something on your recycling bin saying hey you had a problem here and again after four times there could be a problem and they'll take or they'll take away that recycling bin if you do that four times you know i kind of ask isn't this public shaming and they're saying no it's education so remember this in about a month the city's going to have people coming in looking inside your recycling bin don't be alarmed they're going to be doing that they'll be well marked they said but it's something they say that needs to be happening for now we're live jim pickett channel four the local station. All righty, Jim, thanks. Well, we are hearing from you, our viewers, telling us how you feel about the idea of people going through your recycling to see if you're complying with the rules. And the reactions have been overwhelmingly negative so far. Donna Thames, for example, says she thinks this plan is a waste of money. She says, I can't even get my recycling picked up consistently. How do they have time to audit it? She adds she does not want people going through her trash. Brooke Kennard says this plan is super invasive. She says the percentage of things being put in the wrong bin is so small, that's not necessary. She also voiced concern over privacy. So tell us what you think about people inspecting what's in your recycling bin. To weigh in, just click on this story on the homepage of newsforjax.com.